Hi, welcome to this short video series on how to format, import, and out of code and vivo synced transcripts. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to format synced transcripts in Microsoft Word before you import them into Envivo 11. Now, there are five key elements you'll need in your synchronized transcripts before you import them into Envivo. The first one is you must insert timestamps at every change of speaker. Envivo recognizes various timestamp formats, but you must use a format that it recognizes. Now, the second key element that you need in your synchronized transcripts is your timestamps must be in standalone paragraphs. The third key element is that the speaker identifiers must be in standalone paragraphs. The fourth element is optional, but you will need to break down long paragraphs into shorter paragraphs. When you do so, you must make sure that you insert timestamps at every break and a paragraph break after the timestamp. This will become more clear in a little while. The fifth key element that you need to have in your synchronized transcript is you need to convert the transcript into a table. Now, let me show you how you achieve each of these key elements in Microsoft Word. Here we have a typical synchronized transcript. As you can see, the transcript has timestamps, speaker identifiers, and the content or what the speaker said. So the first key element is that we have timestamps at every change of speaker. So whenever Mike speaks, there's a timestamp. Whenever Matt still speaks, there's a timestamp. And so forth and so forth. The second key element is that every speaker identifier must be on its own standalone paragraph. In this particular transcript, we have not achieved that. And we need to make sure all the speaker identifiers are on their own standalone paragraphs. How do we achieve that? We are going to use the find and replace function in Microsoft Word. Let me turn on the show paragraph marks so that we can see exactly what we need to do. So we need Mike to be on its own paragraph. Right now, Mike and what he says is on one paragraph. Now we need Mike to be on its own paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colon and the tab into a paragraph mark. So using find and replace, what I want to replace is the colon and the tab character. And I get the tab character by going to more, special, tab character. And I want to replace it with another colon. And then click on special and paragraph mark. And then press all. Okay. And so each one of my speaker identifiers, as you can see, it's on its own paragraph. So, so far we have three of the key elements. We have a timestamp at every change of speaker. We have the timestamps on standalone paragraphs. And finally, we have the speaker identifiers in standalone paragraphs. The fourth element, which is optional, is where you have very long paragraphs, you need to break them down into smaller paragraphs. So for instance, in this right here, you can see Matt um, spoke for quite a while, um, almost a minute and a half. And so in this particular transcript, we broke it down into paragraphs, okay? And so whenever you do that, you need to make sure that you insert a timestamp, at every paragraph break and another paragraph break after the timestamp. Okay. So if you do break it up, make sure you do insert a timestamp and a paragraph break after the timestamp. The fifth and final element is to turn the transcript into 
a table. Now, luckily for us, Microsoft Word does that very, very easily. All we need to do is select Control A to select all the text. Go to Insert, Table, Convert Text to Table. You get this window and you need three columns for the timestamp, for the mat, for the identifier, and the next one for the content. And you click OK. And here is our table. And I scroll through just to make sure that everything is in its own column. The identifier column is in the middle one. The content is at the end. I can make this very, it doesn't matter much, but okay. So, yeah, looks good. For easy input into end level, I'm going to enter a header. I'm going to insert a row here or above, and I'm going to call this time span. My is going to be identifier, and then this is going to be correct. You don't need to do this, but it helps you to when you get to import the transcript into Envible to know what each column represents. And that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to import the synchronized transcript we just created into Envible 11. See you then.